Hello, everybody. I can't wait to share this clip of the unbelievable Atlanta resident Michaela Montgomery, who dazzled us and torched Kamala Harris at the Trump rally not that long ago. She does it yet again, and this time to a racist white liberal. You know, I believe it was Malcolm X who said the most dangerous thing to black America is not the police or the government, but white liberals. And sh this is just unbelievable. This is happening in 2024. But Michaela, again, exemplifies character, dignity, intelligence, articulation. Watch as she slams this white liberal calling into this show. Uh, uh, just slams him right out the door. It is absolutely beautiful and marvelous to watch. Check this out. But just in case you forgot, here's just a quick reminder clip of how she absolutely stole the heart's in favor of everybody in America not that long ago at a Trump rally. Listen to what she says about Kamala. She brought the house down. Check this out. Her feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Powerful. Wow. I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. Just absolutely love her. If anybody out there knows how to find Michaela Montgomery, please Share this video with her. Get this out to her. Somebody tell her she has an open invite to be on our show. So here's the clip right now I'm going to share with you of her shutting down this racist white liberal who calls into the show. Check this out. They're never going to let you in the club, okay? And you like like the movie Django, you are the character of Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know the exact like terminology, but like not Uncle Tom, but like Uncle Tommy or like you were a complete sellout. First of all, it sounded like that was a non-black person telling me that. So as a Democrat, that sounds pretty racial and pretty divisive. Next, it's very interesting that I, again, would be called names or be compared to fictional characters because of who I choose to support. Again, these people who are calling and making these derogatory statements about me, who I choose to support, are denying the fact that, again, who are you to tell me that my personal experience is invalid? I think that that's something that a lot of Democrats need to look within because how have you tried? Kamala Harris is in office right now and has not tried to do anything about the border, has not tried to not tax people on tips, and has not tried to do anything about our failing education system. So Ooh. everything that she's promising she can do for you on day one, she could do right now, but she's not oh. trying to. So that's something to just you know, for some Dems to take home. So are you telling me that yeah, with all the black education. wealth, with all the black wealth that exists here in Atlanta, with all the black millionaires that live here in Atlanta, why in the world do 92% of APS students st are illiterate? Make it make sense. And we have Democratic mayors, we have Democratic city council members, we have Democratic commissioners, and for whatever reason, 92% of the kids here cannot read. That statistic did not exist in Nevada. So Ooh. again, I don't know if it was the fact that I got lucky. I can't say that, oh my God, it's the teachers that suck out here. I would never demean our educators here in Atlanta. But what we can acknowledge is the numbers, sir. And so while you wanna call me not smart, please tell me what your side has done to fix the illiteracy rate that we see in our black children absolutely nothing and in fact not only have they not done anything to address the illiteracy issue but then they're further confusing their kids by confusing your kids by telling us telling them that men can give birth by telling them that there's 53 genders and then by telling girl. them that your love for your best friend must Preach. mean that you are gay you are a pansexual asexual kids under the age of anything high school should not be thinking anything sexual period sexual should not even be in their vocabulary mm. so for you to say that mm. I'm not smart because I'm willing to call out all of the degeneracy that exists within our current education system only points to your lack of intelligence and your lack of initiative to actually do something in regards to saving our children and uh, saving our schools. Our Michaela! Oh, Michaela! Michaela, you see what happens? They just attack. When you have no substance, 
when you have nothing to fall back on, you have no track record, you have no achievements, you have no plan, you have no strategy, you have no credentials, you have no uh, credo, you have no uh, values, what do you do? You just attack. I mean, I can't believe the audacity in 2024 to call her a slur like that and compare her to a character in a movie about plantations. She called her the character Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know if you picked that up. Samuel L. Jackson's character in Django, which was an uncle, you know what? I can't even say it without the video getting taken down. Uh, wow, this is 2024. You have the audacity. This is why I call them the Hippocrats. Their hypocrisy, Nez Nation, my fellow Americans, it knows no bounds. Kudos to you, Michaela. Kudos to you for standing your ground. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. She did it with considerable aplomb, character, intelligence, articulation, dignity, class. That's class. Actually exemplifying substance. Actually sharing real data about what the Democrats have done and really the lack thereof, what they haven't done for uh, the people of Atlanta, Fulton County, and more. You know, we've been covering Cash Money G. Fannie Willis, the whole Trump debacle there, the the, the sham trial. And uh, this is just a, a, another, I've said this many, many times. We had Ashley Merchant on our show not that long ago, who's a fantastic lawyer. If you missed that, go check it out. Where we said that the, the tragedy of all of this, this drama, this unfolding, uh, 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 laborious, a uh, uh, long overdue, a uh, uh, tax expending drama. The real tragedy is the people, the residents of Atlanta, of Georgia, of Fulton County. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a powerful example of a resident who's tired, sick and tired of this party playing the race card, playing the gender card, playing all the cards in the book that people are sick and tired of hearing about this victim woke ideology, using it as a crutch at every turn and saying that you're not good enough. You should be a victim because of your color of your skin. You don't have opportunities. All these lies that they keep spewing and shoving down people's throats and saying that they're going to help them fix all that. And they're going to make things fair. And they keep using words like equity and DEI, which are literally just euphemisms for discrimination and racism, period. That's all it is. Didn't earn it. It does not include, there is no diversity. It is literally a format, a lens to judge people based on a trait that they have zero control over. I give you massive kudos, Michaela. Thank you so much for standing up to these heathens, these hypocrites. I absolutely salute you. I am here to serve you. I want to give you more of a platform. Like I said, if anybody knows how I can get in contact with her, share this video with her, share this plea with her. I want her to come on our show and really demonstrate for the whole world. I mean, she's a leader. She's a role model. I have a daughter. I want my daughter to look up to you, Michaela. Everybody should really take her message seriously and heed it and embrace it. So I have an open invitation to you, Michaela, to come on our show, share with us your views, how you were able to transcend all of these victim woke ideologies that they keep throwing time and time again at communities that are marginalized, minority, et cetera, et cetera. I can't wait to hear from you. And I throw this off to you, Nez Nation. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this amazing woman, this amazing citizen, this amazing, intelligent human being, Michaela Montgomery? Let me know in the uh, comments what you think. I can't wait to hear from you. As always, if you made it this far, don't forget, in the pinned comment, show notes, and description is our free newsletter. Sign up for that. It's your insurance policy. It's your guarantee that you never miss out on all these amazing new videos that we're producing every single day. Uh, and so it goes right to your inbox conveniently. Make sure you sign up down below. Tap the thumbs up so we can reach more people. It's not for vanity. It's for Michaela, really. I want everybody to hear her story. So when you tap that thumbs up, the algorithm goes, hmm, people like this. And they share the video out to more people. So do it right now. It takes a nanosecond and it's free. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right now. Follow and subscribe down there. It's absolutely free. And as always, God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.